Hi there and welcome to the AV Transfers UK channel here on YouTube. A platform not only for shameless self-marketing and promotion, but a place to have a look at interesting technology and gizmos, both from the past and of course the present and looking perhaps to the future in some ways. Today we're going to be looking at a satellite. This is getting interesting a satellite instrument, shall we call it, something that you would use to find and lock down your satellite dish to. That is, uh, if you're here in Europe uh, or anywhere in the world, you'd need one of these if you're going to do a proper job or if you're looking for something uh, specific. So I, the, the item that I've got here, I managed to pick up on a, a, an auction and it caught my eye because it has a, a CRT screen and generally anything with a small CRT screen grabs my eye. And it has the right blend of retro and possible usefulness up until today and beyond uh, in picking up satellites. So we're going to take a look at this device and uh, hope that you'll stay with us. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm on the floor again. Here is this very interesting goodie. It's called the Satlook Digital in IT. Or as we say in the business, Lut. <laughs> a, a, a cute little portable televisiones type of thing. Perhaps not quite a televisiones, but a satellite goodie. So let's have a look let's show you the let's show you, oh let's show you the business in front here we go oh. here we go in front two really cool screens this is like a four inch crt an lcd panel and this at once upon a time used to have a battery um it does not have a battery that it does not appear to have a working battery um so i have to use it on dc power but that's not a big deal on the side interesting things buttons it kind of looks like an old telephone receiver right volume tuning uh there is down here all oh, right there's tuning at the bottom i'm sorry volume tuning and this is your frequency i think is some sort of a sort of a push button thingy um and there's your satellite input it's actually a, a bnc and then you put this, I got this little adapter so I can use it with an F plug, which is the kind of industry standard for satellite. And this little puppy operates between 950, I think, and 3000 megahertz. So let's plug it in and I'll show you quickly what it looks like. Okay, so here we have, um, I've just connected it up to an, <laughs> a normal ant a whoop antenna. I'm not expecting to see much in the office, but we'll hook it up to a satellite dish in a couple of minutes. And this is just showing you your frequency spectrum. Um, so there's a little dial here on the right. If you turn it, you'll see that marker moves up and down. So I guess the idea is with this little doodad, you'll see some broadcast on this channel here. Something going on there, right? So we'll move the marker up to that particular spot. And that could be any broadcast in that frequency. Let's just line it up there. And then we can actually switch it into um, picture mode. So we can actually see what that looks like. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, I think, you know. So there we go. We've got um, a visual representation. And I can just turn the dial. And you'll see as I turn the dial, the, uh, the frequency changes there. Now that's not picking up that frequency. That'll be picking. That's the frequency it's supposed to be picking up, if it's on a satellite dish. But obviously the frequency span is about three thousand megahertz, and and this the satellite dish actually does most of the down conversion. So this would probably be looking between nine fifty megahertz and three thousand megahertz. Uh, so three gig basically. So the numbers aren't really producing the correct. Uh, you're not seeing the correct frequency if you like for that. Um, but a really interesting piece of kit. So if it was analog satellite still, or if you're looking for analog satellite, you would find it this way. Um, and it also has another mode, which is, let me go out of here, um, digital. So you can go to digital mode. And what it does here, 
if I'm not mistaken, it basically scans the airwaves and tells you if there's any digital information in this um, section. It, what I liked about this is you can basically point it at a satellite, find a satellite, and then it'll tell you what satellite you're looking at. It'll actually show you if you're an Astro or if you're on Hotbird or whatever other satellites there are. So that is the main reason I wanted it, because I never know where I'm pointing the dish. I mean, maybe an old hand who, who does satellites all the time would know, but, you know, me, not really sure. So this is a digital representation of digital satellites. So you wouldn't be able to see the picture, but you would be able to see sort of stations in these uh, constellations, if you like. So just an interesting toy, really. There's a lot going on on the screen here. It's not very user-friendly in today's day and age, because everything's done from this... Um, button panel on the left on the right so let's shall I say rather so let's just try search and see what happens or we can say channels and it will tell you what channels we're looking at um so how about we take this into the garden and let's see what we can find so here it is this is the um outdoor dish that i got um of ebay from a gentleman and um, this is sort of a temporary install just for the purposes of my uh, exploration of the, the skies above us. Uh, this is the sort of tripod, and a very small dish, just a 60 centimeter dish. Um, I can put a bigger dish on if I want to do some more exploring. I had a bigger dish and I threw it out like an idiot. So I may have to get another bigger dish because this doesn't seem to be able to get a hell of a lot of anything. To be honest, it's a bit weak. Um, and it's just got a standard LMB, so not really uh, up to the latest uh, frequencies and uh, systems. But for the, pur for the purpose of testing the, the uh, satellite receiver, I think it's a winner. So if we back off a bit, I've just put it out there. And uh, we've got a cable running here. Um, oh, it's freezing, absolutely freezing. And if we go down to the satellite receiver, you'll see we've got... Um, I must say, I don't find this IQ constellation particularly, you know, enlightening. But what it does tell me is that it's Astra 28.2. 20, um, so I've locked that in. If that's the best signal, I, I haven't really fiddled enough with it because there's just too much play in the brackets and too much play in the uh, pole stand to, to really get a good signal out of that. But what's quite nice is on this unit, um, you can actually have a couple of options you can actually have a look and see the the actual frequency spectrum so there you'll see there are a couple of channels here there there I don't know if that means I'm on that channel right now um, perhaps that's very low I don't know but there's a lot of noise in this part of the band I don't know why it might just be looking at the wrong part of the, of the frequency range but this, this from top to bottom is 1200 megahertz. So it's quite a wide uh, frequency range. Perhaps that's also not quite right. Just excuse the aeroplane in the sky. Um, and this is primarily an analog satellite receiver. I just love that CRT, but it does have a digital option. And if we go to the digital, we can actually see what it looks like on an analog receiver. If there's nothing there. Um, and then we've got a digital, there's a little keypad on the side. And uh, does a little searchy search. And it says to you, oh, it shows to you what it's finding, the Astra 28.2. And then if we look here, we can have a look and see. Let's just see what other options we've got here. Channels, let's push four and see if it can tell me what channels are on here. Okay, so at the moment it's just showing me one channel, B Sky B47. Um, but that definitely says to me it's on the right UK satellite. Um, let's exit that. And uh, at least we know we've got a signal now. And you can also have a beeper. And that'll tell you sort of how it'll change pitch according to. If you're on the satellite or not but this is supposed to be the digital constellation and i don't really see anything intelligible here perhaps i'm just doing something wrong um let's put the beep off it's quite annoying if i go to zero and change the frequency
let's see. Searching away for something. Hmm. All right, let me change the, I don't know if this is still applicable, the um, tone. Let's just plug it in and see what happens. Let's just find the, the hash thingy here. It's gonna rescan now with this tone enabled. Let's see if we find anything else interesting. Let's see here. Uh, doesn't seem to be showing me anything well, it does show me something's happening here. Um, let me just switch back to the old 122 kilohertz. It just seems to be getting a bit more on that one. Um, okay, it says lock time, so I guess it's already locked on something. Right, yeah. The idea being I want to be able to search the skies and see what other satellites I can find. A nice piece of kit with that little display here. It's not touchscreen though, but that's a CRT, which is really quite cool. Okay, so I've managed to get a signal on the uh, FreeSat receiver, which is built into this uh, Blu-ray recorder. Um, and it's not a great dish. I mean, the signal quality is, is absolutely awful. Let's just see here. Uh, um, it doesn't even look like this. Uh, free set LNB or pickup is is ready for the new frequencies or anything. I think it's uh, a very very old LNB from uh, 10 15 years ago. So I kind of got schnapped schnapped on the on the order. I think I bought perhaps a very old stock dish. I think the person that sold it to me was very very lucky. But needless to say, uh, basically it works on the older format channels, the the MPEG2 format channels, and I guess I have to just accept that and upgrade the LNB. But um, there you go. Just an addendum to the uh, video. If you're wondering why it's been a bit quiet on the uh, channel lately, here's your answer. Uh, due to the extensive cold we had, uh, well, we have in uh, in the town of Boreham and I guess across the UK, we're not special. We're not that special. Maybe a little bit, but not that much special. Um, this lovely four terabyte hard drive, which was running in a nice little server along with another four terabyte hard drive which was in a spanning mode so took uh, a dump and it died a horrible and sudden death removing all my files the youtube videos clips and more so even though there are two of these and the other one has got half the data on because they run together i lost both so my eight terabyte server is down to four terabytes now and uh, this one just says no disk so not a fan of Seagate, never have been, never will be. Seagate and Quantum, those were like the worst hard drives you could ever have back in the day. Uh, Western Digital was slightly better. Today, it seems like Western Digital is a lot better. Um, but a lot of these have been taking a dump lately, so not a happy bunny about that. But hopefully we'll get, uh, get filming again and do some new video stuff. And uh, please, if you like that sort of thing, stick around.